Ted Cruz was busy campaigning with Mike Pence today, but uh, with a certain name going unmentioned. Take a look. I'm here campaigning for Donald Trump for Mike Pence. I, I recognize some of you guys are wanting to write stories suggesting divisions among Republicans. I'll make a point. I'm getting ready to get on a gigantic airplane that has Donald Trump's name painted on the side of it. And he proved me wrong. All right. Uh, former Reagan uh, campaign advisor Ed Rollins. There was a, a good deal of fuss about that to, to, to a little heathen and hoeing to get to that point. Um, and there were a lot of, of Republicans, maybe in the establishment, for lack of a better term, Ed, who had that kind of mixed feeling um, about this. But they seem, a good many of them, Ted Cruz included, to be coming back to the nominee. What do you make of that? I think it's, I think it's very important that the Republicans come together, and they are. I think the bottom line is the choice, as Senator Perdue and others have laid out, uh, is, is a, an administration that obviously can be viewed as, as, as corrupt, or at least perceived as corrupt. I think any time you have the FBI all over a number of investigations, uh, all of which come back to her in some way, shape, or form, uh, to the American public who believe that she's dishonest by a 70 percent margin, uh, it's not a very good sign. So I think the momentum that Trump has gained the last week, 10 days, uh, is basically uh, the place you want to be going in the closing days of a campaign. You know, uh, we t touched on it before, Ed, but I'd like to follow up if I can because I've been reading a little bit of the press back around uh, late October, early November, I think it was November 4th that year, that, uh, 1980, that we had the Reagan-Carter uh, 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 election. And polls were tight uh, ahead of that, and then a blowout uh, just days later. Do you see anything in, in, in the sands that are constantly shifting here that make you think the same could be happening now? I certainly, I certainly see the potential in the general election vote. Uh, uh, obviously, the electoral states are drawn a little tight for today. I mean, California right. obviously was all very doable for Reagan. Uh, but I think clearly the momentum is going Trump's way. And I, if, if he has a three or four point lead going into election day, there's no reason he couldn't win by five or seven points. Uh, and, and that's the same kind of thing that came down for Reagan in the closing days and obviously gave him a landslide of 10 points.